Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Autumn. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a speech language pathologist and I'm putting these videos out there to try to offer um, parents and kiddos some fun speech and language activities to practice at home. And for those of you who do know me, my goodness, I still miss ya. And I'm sending you some activities to practice and looking forward to when we can practice together again. And I hope you are enjoying your time at home with your family. So today we are going to practice our S sound. Remember what our S says? It says S. Good. Sometimes we practice it like this. S. Can you try? Let me hear you. Ready? S. Good. And um, we can trace it with our finger to make sure that it's a long S sound that we let all of our air out. Let's try that together. S. We can also trace across our hand S or down our arm. S Those are all ways to help us remember to use a lot of air with our sound and not a short sound like S. We want to hear a long sound. When I make my S sound, you can see S, that my teeth are closed together and my tongue is hiding inside. My tongue is actually up high right behind my teeth, letting the air over my tongue. And you can't see it, right? You can't see my tongue, which is kind of interesting because we often say that S is our snake sound. And isn't it funny that when a snake makes that sound, S, the snake's tongue is out. So we make that sound in two different ways, right? The snake sticks his tongue out, but we make sure we hide our tongue. We're not snakes, right? We're people. So we're gonna hide our tongue. S -s -s. Good job. So today we're gonna practice our s, -s and practice adding that sound onto other words um, to make, I mean, onto other sounds to make some words. And we're gonna practice words like stop or words like stand words like spin. We can practice those words together today. Are you ready? Okay. So our first game we're going to play is what is Miss Autumn drawing? You ready? I'm going to use my paper here and some crayons and I'm going to draw some things that start with our s sound and see if you can guess it before I finish drawing the picture. And if you can guess it, shout out what it is, but remember to use your s sound. Are you ready? All right, let's give it a go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try to draw, can everybody see? Okay, the first thing I'm going to try to draw is something you hold in your hand something you use when you eat. Does anybody know it yet? It's something you use when you eat cereal or soup. It's a, what is it? Say it. You got it. Good. It's a spoon. Spoon. Good job. One more time. Spoon. All right. Grown-ups, while we're doing this activity today, you can pause at any moment and ask your child to practice at the level that they're able. Like maybe your child right now just needs to practice that single word level of spoon with you saying it, then they say it. If, if they're pretty good at saying it once, then when you pause me, I would practice having them say it three times in a row. So when you pause, you, Miss Autumn just said it, now you say it three times, ready, go. Spoon, spoon, spoon. It's a little bit trickier because they have to remember to use that sound three times in a row without you saying, use your sound, use your sound. Um, and that's a great skill for them to be able to remember to use it the three times. If they can do that just fine, if your child is great at that level, you want to move on to phrases. Um, and if any of you aren't sure, you can always email me and ask, and I'm happy to help you make that decision. Um, but for phrases, we'd want to start to move on for this activity with something like, I see a spoon. And I would cue that. I'm kind of been cueing it with a gesture. Like I put my hand away for the I see a part and then 
bring my hands to my face for the spoon so that your child can learn with which sound are we putting our S blend on. A lot of kiddos who are learning S for the first time know they're supposed to use their sound but aren't sure where it goes. So they just put S on the front of every word in that phrase. So we want to offer that visual gesture support to show when the sound comes in. So you'll practice something like, I see a spoon. I see a spoon. One more time. I know some of you out there can do this. So let me hear you. Show, show your grown-ups that you can do it. Ready? Here we go. I see a spoon. So after each picture that I draw, pause and you can um, have your child practice at the level that you know they're able to do it. Okay? All right. So first we did our, our spoon. I have some good guessers out there. I think you caught on right away. Um, let's try another one. Put my paper over. And this is something that has a body. I'm going to give him a little smile. And he's very wriggly and crawls and creeps around on the ground, catches bugs in his web. You know, you know what it is now, right? The itsy bitsy. You got it? Okay. Let me hear it. Use your S sound. Let me hear your great sound while I'm drawing. It's a, let me hear you. Good. It's a spider. That was wonderful. Your sound sounded so long. I heard lots of air. Let me hear it again. Spider. Again, spider. Some of you can practice. I see a spider. Go ahead. Take a second to practice how you want to. That was some great guessing. Well done. Okay. So, so far we've done spoon, right? And we did spider. Well done. Spider. I think I'll draw one more. See if I can bring out my really great art skills today. Okay, so this is, here's a table. I was just sitting happily at breakfast this morning eating at my table. Right? La, la, la. Happily eating breakfast. And all of a sudden, I went to reach for my glass of water. And, oh no, when I went to reach for it, I, oh no, what did I do to my water? I spilled. That one was a little trickier. Did you get it? Spill. Let me hear you. Spill. One more time. Bill, good job. And you might even feel like you're ready to practice. Miss Autumn spilled. What happened? Miss Autumn spilled. Good job. How about try one more time by yourself? Let me hear ya. You got it. Good job. Miss Autumn spilled. Nice work. Okay, so this is a game that you can play at home, grown-ups. Um, a great guessing game, see how quickly children can guess, and then um, practice either at that word, phrase, sentence level, wherever they're ready. Uh, to review, we did spider. Let me hear you. Say it along with me, okay? We did spoon. And we did... Bill. Nice job. Okay. Right, I've got one more activity to share with you today. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Spike. <laughs> Spike is a very excited dog. <laughs> oh, gross. Spike, seriously, blah.
Spike has a very slimy tummy. My goodness. <laughs> Ew! He licked you! Even worse! Gross! Spike, wait a minute. We'll feed you. <laughs> He's very hungry, too. That's part of the problem. Can you say his name? He's trying to listen with his ear. Can you call his name? Say, Spike! Go ahead, call him. <laughs> oh, goodness! <laughs> He got so excited when he heard you call his name. He licked you again, my goodness. Oh, he is so slimy. All right, Spike is hungry, so I think we're going to feed him something today. We'll see what it might be that he might feel like eating. So I've got some cards here, um, and we'll just, we'll just see what he has a taste for. Spike, do you want to try this one? Blech. Oh, Spike, he spit it out. Let's see what it was. Oh, it's a stove. He didn't want to eat the stove. And these pictures are from Super Duper, from their Arctic photos. You can find these online if you're interested. I'm Super Duper Inc. Um, but it's the Fun Deck S Blends. All right, so Spike, did you want to eat the Stove? Mm-mm. He did not. Blech. Yeah, he thought it was yucky. A stove is not something you want to eat. All right, so let's see what Spike would like to try to eat next. Do you think we should see if he wants to eat a spider? Mm-mm. I think you should try it, Spike. Mm-mm. I think we should see. Let's try it. Let's try it together really quick. Can everybody tell me spider? Good. Good. Spider. Now let's tell Spike. Let's say, eat spider. Good. Tell him again. Eat spider. Okay, here comes Spike. We'll see if he's going to try it. All right, ready, Spike? <laughs> okay, let's see if he wants to eat the spider. Um, 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 um. Blah! Oh, no. He spit it out. He spit it out again. Did he eat the spider? He didn't. Spike, seriously. Ugh. Spike is so slimy. Yuck. He is. All right, let's try again. Ugh. I think this is even worse than the other one. A snail. Do you think that Spike should try to eat a snail? Will you hold this for me for a second, Spike? Thank you. Ready? Snail. Oops, sorry. Snail. Good. Try again. Snail. And now let's tell Spike. Let's tell him, eat, s oh, eat snail. Sorry about that, guys. Ready? Eat snail. Ugh. What do you think, Spike? Do you want to try to eat the snail? You do? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Give it a go. Hmm. He didn't like the snail either. He spit it out. Gross. Can you tell me that? Let's say spit. Mm -hmm. He spit it out. Blah. Gross. You didn't like the spider, the snail, or the stove, did you? Mm -mm. All right, let's try again. What is this? Stool. You hold that for me, buddy? Thank you. Ready? Stool. Do you think Spike should try to eat a stool? All right. Let's see. Let's tell him. Stool. And let's try it again. Let's try this way. We'll say eat stool. Can anybody say that? Eat the stool. All right. Go ahead, Spike. Blech. Oh, nope. He spit it out. Did that taste very good, Spike? <laughs> oh, Spike, seriously, you are so slimy, gross. Yeah, he knows he is. He's a slimy dog. Okay, let's try one more. One more shot and see if we can get Spike. 
spike something to eat today. We haven't had any luck with our spiders, snails. Mm -mm. All right. How about, woo, how about this one? Do you see what that is? Spaghetti. Maybe he'll eat that. I, I think he might try it. Can you say that for me? Spaghetti. Good. Let me hear your sound. Spaghetti. You got it. One last time. Let's try it. Uh, our friends who can do phrases. Let's try eat the spaghetti. Eat the spaghetti. Good job. All right. Oh, what do you think? He's sniffing it, isn't he? He's sniffing it. Sniffing it. And I think Oh, I think he likes it. Blech. Oh, that was a big burp. He liked it. Good job. You liked the spaghetti. Good boy. Spike ate spaghetti. Good job. And everybody, thank you for your help. You helped Spike find a food that he would like to eat. I think we could try to say that whole sentence together, and that would be fantastic. Can you do that with me? We'll all try it together. We're going to say Spike ate Spaghetti. So it's got two of our S sounds in it. Let's do it. Watch me say it together. Ready? Set. Here we go. Let's say spike eight spaghetti. Good job. One more time. Say it one more time. Ready? Spike eight spaghetti. He did. He enjoyed. Oh, spike. Now you're slimy with spaghetti sauce. Gross. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Again, parents at home, those are two fun ways to practice if you've got a puppet. You can feed some of your S sound flashcards too. Um, and then practice a, a drawing sort of game together um, and see if you can draw those pictures and if your child can guess them before you finish drawing. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Spike and his slimy tongue. My goodness. Um, thank you very much and have a pleasant day. Bye.